hawker culture dates back to the 1800s. They provide Singaporeans with a variety of cuisines at an affordable price. Hawker culture is prominent and unique to Singapore. In fact, hawker centres won recognition as a UNESCO cultural heritage of humanity. As the older generation retire, many young Singaporeans are becoming hawkers. In this video, we take a journey to Golden Mile Food Centre to learn more about Ashes Burn It. Ashes Burn It is a western stall run by a group of young entrepreneurs. The stall specialises in gourmet burgers at an affordable price. We interview the CEO of Ashes Burn It, Mr. Farhan, to find out more. Uh, so, uh, my name is uh, Farhan. I'm 29 this year and I'm the CEO and also the business partner for the brand Ashes Burn It. So, how long has it been since you started Ashes Burn It? Okay, so I started uh, Ashes Burn It when I was uh, three years ago in 2019 after I graduated from school. So what motivated you to start running a hawker business at such a young age? This wasn't part of my route to actually go to after I graduated from school. Uh, I wanted to work in a lab, uh, which is based on the degree that I'm actually having. But halfway through school, I just realised that I needed more of a challenge uh, to see how far I can actually go with my capabilities. And knowing that uh, running a business just, uh, encompasses a lot of different factors, be it your financials, your manpower, your scheduling, how you manage your business inventory. So when I step through it, I think about it, I think that it's a much more um, challenging, uh, much more an uphill task to actually take on instead of going to a typical 9-to-5 job in the lab or in the office. So what were some of the challenges you faced as a young hawker in Singapore? Um, there's a few challenges that actually we face. Um, firstly will be the backlash from uh, friends, relatives, families that uh, I actually had when I first started like, because uh, I didn't have any uh, background knowledge in running a business or even being in the kitchen. And also the financial security that uh, is very uncertain. You, know, you might not know that the business will, will succeed or business will fail. And you know, at this age, in the 20s, early 30s, is where you start to build out your finances. You, know, you start to have to plan how you're going to lead your life for the next 20, 30 years. So to start off with something that is very uncertain, very risky, is a huge gamble that I took. I guess the next one, the next major one that we actually we have, or I have personally, will be uh, fighting with all the different store owners that actually has been uh, around for ages. Uh, when they see young hawkers actually going into the business, uh, they will always give you this kind of look whereby, you know, ah, yeah, you're still so young, you don't know anything, sure won't make it enough. So they have this kind of vibe that they actually give you. But I think throughout the whole journey, we build a rapport with them, you know, we make friends, we ask certain advice from them. That's where they slowly start to open up and say, oh, actually, um, there are also younger generation that wants to continue this trade, that wants to take on whatever that they have been doing for the past few decades. So that's where they slowly open up and, you know, be nice to us and help us in one way or another and that's how uh, I guess all the problems that we actually faced uh, at the earlier stage was all just gone uh, after a period of time when we proved them that oh actually young hawkers also can make it uh, Do you have any advice for young Singaporeans who want to pursue a career as a hawker? In thing that I would, say, I would always say is to have the passion yeah, because it's not a very easy trade to go because you're going to risk everything that you actually have be, be it your, your education um, your, your financial, your time, your energy. That's the thing. Because uh, business is full of up and down. So when, when you are up there, you are really up there. But when you are down there, you can go even below rock bottom. So it's how you stay strong during tough times or how you keep yourself humble during your high times. is the one that uh, is going to keep you going. Because uh, there's a lot of uncertainty and every day you're going to face different challenges. Entrepreneurs like Mr. Farhan give hope that Singapore's hawker culture will continue as the older generation fades out. Will more young Singaporeans follow his footsteps to dedicate their lives to being hawkers?